Hello, welcome to She Boss Talk. I am your host, Shante Arradi. We are so glad to have you here from wherever you're tuning in, whether you're catching the live or the replay, we welcome you in. This is our special series on Dominate the Decade, the significance of women in business, because we know that there's a significance for us as women in business and I am bringing on powerhouse women uh, to share with you their perspective on this decade for women and our significance is showing up, right? And our importance in this decade and how powerful this decade is and what it means to us as women in business, um, trying to you know, reach every goal that we have in front of ourselves, trying to build the life or create the life that we want for ourselves without limits. And my hope is that you will take the information, the gems, the nuggets that are uh, presented here and let it inspire you, let it motivate you and empower you uh, to dream big and live even bigger without limits. That's what we want for you. And that is why we are here. So I have my special guest, Lanisha Holland. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am so great. I'm so glad to have you here uh, as a guest. Well, I'm super excited to be here. I really appreciate the invite. Um, and I'm excited because just the whole entire theme and women are just taking over. So yes, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so I know this is gonna be a great conversation. So to get started, can you just let our audience know a little bit about who you are and what you do? Yes, so I am a serial mompreneur. And basically what that means, um, mom and, and lifestyle coach for moms, um, I do have two different businesses. One is a natural skincare line called Happily Naturally Me. That was my first business baby. I call them my business babies because you have to nurture them for them to grow um, and be what you want them to be. Um, and then I also have a travel agency, which is LA Travel and Leisure, where we focus on not only your regular family vacation, solo trips, day trips, but um, I do also have a component where I work with coaches and business owners to help them execute retreats and boot camps and empowerment events for their audience so that they can increase their revenue streams. And then, of course, I am the lifestyle coach for all of the fabulous moms that boss that want to start being the author of their own journey and start creating the life that they want. And they do that by doing the same way I did, by creating more income streams for yourself. And not just any income stream, but things that you enjoy doing, monetizing your skills, your interests, so you can spend more time at home with the kids if that's what you want. You can work remotely if that's what you want and see the world. But it's all about creating that lifestyle that you are enjoying. Yes, I love it. Okay, well, we'll start right there. Um, I love the fact that you're a mompreneur and you work with moms. Moms are so important to the world. Um, I, I'm not a, a blood mother, right? Um, but I'm a mom to many. And I know how significant the role is and sometimes how undervalued it can be or it can seem to us, right? <laughs> because there's no, to me, no greater role or job in the world um, than m being a mother, than motherhood, right? It's not something that you can turn on and off. You are forever no. a mother, right? No, you cannot turn it on and off. And I know sometimes you're just like, I am so sick of being mom today. And there's nothing wrong with saying that because the moms, we put ourselves on the back burner so much for our kids, for our spouses, and we just give, give, and give, and we're, we're taking on so many roles. You know, you're playing cook, you, you're, you're the cheerleader at the, all of the sporting events, you're, you're the nurse, you're the doctor, you're the storyteller at bedtime. Sometimes, well, you know, until they're old enough to bathe themselves, you're, you're the ones giving the bath. And even when you're sick, you don't necessarily really get it downtime. You still have to be mom. Yes. So what would you say the significance is for moms to carve out time to focus on themselves, their needs, and their wants in this decade? So it's really about time blocking and prioritizing.
prioritizing? And I know a lot of people always want to know, how do you get that life balance? And to be honest, there is no such thing as life balance when you are a mom and you're working full time and sometimes you're in school and you're trying to build a business. There is no such thing. Um, there's always going to be something that unfortunately it's going to fall to the wayside. So instead of trying to kill yourself to do everything and take care of yourself, um, I really started blocking off time and you have to make sure that you are blocking off time for you because you cannot be the best possible person, the best mother to your kids, the best spouse. If you're sick, if you have no energy levels, like you have to make sure you're taking care of yourself in the process. You know, what they say when you're on an airplane, right? Um, and they're going through all the safety precautions. They tell you, what do you do? You're supposed to put your mask on first. The reason why you put your mask on first is because if you can't breathe, how are you going to help somebody else breathe? So you have to remember to take some time for you. I don't care if it is just 15 minutes where you just go sit in your car and woo stop. You have to get some you time in every single day. Yes. And sometimes that means getting up earlier or going to bed later, but you, you have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself so that you can be the best mom that you can be. Absolutely. And with that, what would you say the significance is for moms, right? The significant role that moms play um, in business and mm -hmm. what they bring to the table. Okay. So let me, I'm, I'm going to give the example of the stay at home mom. And a lot of people don't give stay at home moms a lot of credit, but when you are running a household, you have to, you run it like a business, don't you? You have to take care of the finances unless your significant other is the one doing that, but you play a role in that. You are making sure everything is organized. What happens when mom goes away? When mom decides to just go away for a day, everything falls apart. The kids are like, when is mom coming back? Your spouse has no idea the schedule. Like you won that household. So if you can effectively run a household, do not think that you can effectively run a business. <laughs> yes, yes. And I, I think it's so important because women do so much, right? And like you said, we're take, we, we, women are the ones responsible for a lot in our household, really for everything, all of the decision making. Mm -hmm. Even if the husband is using the money, we're making the decisions for the money, right? What's happening with the money? What purchases are being made? What decisions are happening? We're taking trips, planning those trips, right? So mm -hmm. there's a lot of skills that we as women have. And I would say, and especially when you, when you talk about women and being in moms, right? In the household, managing that whole being a mom, juggling, you know, what happens with with the kids and the spouse and getting the kids to school and what type of activities it's going to be. I'm just thinking about my mom when she raised us and all the things that she did, she had the household like down, she had everything mm -hmm. in order. Um, and I think it too, women are nurturers. So I think we, we just, as women have a lot of, to bring to the table, a perspective that we bring to the table uh, in business that we need, that we need the world needs for us to be at the more tables right yes. bringing our unique perspective bringing our nurturing selves our compassionate and empathetic selves that a lot of times i think are missing from business that really needs to be there right yeah that that's so important for us so thank you for that and then i wanted to ask you what do you think the significance is in this decade for women so I feel like more and more women are starting to come into their own. And I was raised, um, I'm a lot older than I look. I am 30, I'm about to be 35. So, yeah. so um, I was raised to be a lot more independent, um, to not allow someone telling me no, to be the final answer, to go after what it is that you want. So I feel like my generation 
is starting to, and, and of course, we're raising our daughters to be the same way, because when you know better, you're supposed to what? You're supposed to be, you're supposed to do better. So more and more women are climbing that corporate ladder faster. They're holding more power positions. So I feel like in the next decade, the next 10 years, because we're in 2020 right now, you're going to see a greater shift of more and more women holding those positions that were typically geared towards men. And it's not, it was never because women couldn't do it, but it was more so they were never given the chance to do it. You know, it's the, the man, the quote on the man's world, but we are proving ourselves as being able to take on more and hold down the fort in those power positions. So why shouldn't we be able to? Yeah, there's no reason why we shouldn't, because this is our time to do so, right? Absolutely. And I I'm the time. Right, the us owning our power is so important, and knowing what what we bring to the table, um, that we are independent, that we are intelligent, that we have a gift um, and a purpose uh, for the world to bring to the table, um, and to show up in that fully, I think is so important and is really significant for us uh, to own that and to know it and be confident in it. Uh, and know that this is just, this is our time. And like you said, we have been uh, for so long uh, underrepresented in so many spaces that it's just time, right? Women are doing more. This is the, if any time, if there was any time to do it, this is the time to do it, right? Yep. And yep. more and more women are realizing that they may not necessarily get a seat at that table. So, they are taking that leap of faith. They're betting on themselves like I did and building their own table. So if you're not going to give me a seat at that table, because in my old position, and I just left, it hasn't even been a full year yet. I decided that I was just going to leave corporate America. I just wasn't going to do this anymore. Um, you weren't going to pay me what I felt as though that I was worth. Like for years, I had asked for a significant raise. Um, they wanted me to do the work of somebody else on top of my own work and still didn't want to pay me accordingly. And then also I would, you know, give feedback. I give ideas, things that could be implemented and they would get overlooked. And then months later down the road, someone would suggest the same exact thing that I did. And then all of a sudden it was a good idea. So for me, it was like, it is time to go. You're not going to give me a seat at the table. Then I'm going to make my own table. And that's just how it is. And there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. And I, I'm all for creating our own tables. That's what's necessary. I think that's the significance is that now we're creating our own tables and then we invite other women to the table, right? Exactly. And that's, why, that's actually why we're leading in entrepreneurship. We are the fastest growing demographic of entrepreneurs uh, for quite a few years now. Um, yes. That is why, um, because ladies, look, there we we should be able to live life without limits, right? Your gifts, you you don't need to allow other people to assess a value on who you are. You you know who your what your value is, and don't let anyone or any company tell you what your what your or limit your value because you're much more valuable, right? You have so many gifts, so many. Uh, opportunities just within you to do so many different things and take so many different paths and create different businesses and uh, opportunities and so many missions out there. Um, don't don't overlook that or let other people do it and take the don't be afraid to take a leap of faith because if Lanisha could do it and I could do it. I did it back in 2014 and so I've been full time in my business for over six years now. So it's definitely possible. And I know this is important for a lot of ladies to hear because a lot of ladies are looking to make this transition. They're actually in the process. And I know a lot of ladies that just did it. So congratulations to you recently. And we have to support each other in that, right? So we make sure that we continue to be successful and that we can dominate so we don't feel like we're alone. So with that, how important do you, or how significant do you think it is for in this decade for women to really lock arms and collaborate? It's super important. And even if taking the leap of faith and going out on your own and running your own business is not really your thing, get out there and network. 
start meeting those people that are in charge, especially other women, because they can pull you up. You never know who you might meet that is at another company that has the power to put you into that position that you've been trying to get into. So get out there. Don't be shy. Get out there. Go to these networking events. Make, get on LinkedIn, start making connections with the people that are holding those seats that make the decisions. Like I come from the staffing industry. So I spent nine years in the staffing industry. So I know what that is like um, on both sides. I know what it's like. I would speak to so many people throughout the day that were wanting more out of their career and they just did not know how to get it. And I'm telling you, networking is the thing to do. So while you are planning your exit, make sure that you are learning, that you are investing in yourself so that you can gain the things that you need. So when that opportunity does present itself, you're qualified to take it and grasp it and go after and get what it is that you want. Don't allow yourself to just sit back. Make sure that you are going and fighting for what it is that you want, especially if climbing that click career ladder is the thing for you, then do it. But you've got to make sure that you are positioning yourself by building up your value, your worth, and making sure others see it. See it. That's important. Make sure other people see it, right? Come mm -hmm. from behind the shadows. It's time for us to take center stage, right? And not be exactly. insecure about it. You have to be confident and show up confident because you have a lot to offer the world. So I love that. And as, as a life coach, can you offer the women one tip, right? One or two, okay, um, of what they can do if they want to be uh, significant in this decade? Okay, so I'm very big on mindset. And mindset, I believe, is the foundation for anything. In order for you to accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish, you have to get your mind in the right place. And I can tell you, I know a lot of people, and even speaking for myself, a lot of people don't go after what it is that they want because they're afraid. And those fears, so when you have those fears, you end up giving so many excuses as to why you can't do something. And I can tell you, those excuses are the lies that you tell yourself because you are afraid. And you have to to get in the right mindset because your mindset will lead you to your actions and your actions will lead you to your results. So start with that, making sure whether, whether it is that you are a praying person, you're a person that meditates, or you're a person that does both. You should spend some time and make this part of your self-care that you are getting yourself right mentally. So that way, everything else, I'm telling you, if you focus on that mind, everything else will start falling into place. For you and if you are struggling with that reach out to me I can give you more advice I also have a boss jar which is a jar full of affirmations from inspiring women some are from myself yours truly um, where you just read you pick something out of the jar you read it and you reflect on it and you apply it to your life and it helps it helps keep you grounded it helps keep you motivated to go after what it is that you want and you can attack your day I love it. Mindset is so important. Before you do anything else, you got to get your mindset right, right? Yes. You got to get your mindset and build up that confidence. You know, I, I think of that uh, that's a, a lot of times underrated. Like people are like, oh, confidence, but confidence is so key because you have to be confident to go out there and sell yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have to you, you have to have self worth and know you are the bomb right yes, yes you, you are you are the best at what you do can't nobody do it better and that's how you have to show up and walk in the rooms and let them know right exactly. so i want to see more i want to see more women doing that and if you need the mindset work to help get you in that space you definitely want to do that before you start doing anything else mm -hmm. and so that brings me to my last question is that what impact are you hoping to make in this decade so my goal, although I do have my skincare line and I have my travel agency, those are things that I like to do. But my passion, my purpose is to help other moms. And do I just work with moms? No, I, <laughs> I work with other people as well. But moms, those are the ones that are close to my heart. And over this decade, my goal is to 
show moms, as many moms as I possibly can, that you can have what it is that you want. You do not have to continue to put yourself on the back burner. You don't have to wait until your children are older. All you have to do is commit to yourself. I kick myself <laughs> all the time because I wish I would have believed in myself way sooner. If you continue to make excuses, you will continue to delay your successes. And that is what I did. I delayed my success because I was too scared that I didn't have what it took to be awesome, to go out on my own. And I just want to build up enough women as I possibly can with the confidence that they know that they can go out and just bet on yourselves. You do not need a plan B. Just focus on plan A and know that you are going to win. It may, the road may not be easy. <laughs> it's not. But if you just focus on plan A and bet on yourself, there is no way that you are going to lose. You may, you know, go over some speed bumps, hit some brick walls, but you're going to go over those. You're going to knock down those walls. Just keep believing in yourself and do not give up. And if you have people in your life that are not supportive, that is totally fine. That is why it's important that you surround yourself with people that are in the same mindset that you are in, that are doing the things that you want to do, that are moving the way that you want to move. If your family and your friends, they, they, don't, they may not get it. They're not living that journey. But there are people that are. So get yourself around them. Yes, that is so good. Commit to yourself, ladies. Commit to yourself. Know that this is your year. This is your time to do it. Believe in yourself and know that you're enough. So thank you so much, Lanisha, for being on here with us. Where can our audience find you if they want to connect with you? So of course, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, and everything can be found underneath Lanisha Holland, which is L-A-N-I-S-H-A, and then H-O-L-L-A-N-D hit me up. Um, you can also go to LanishaHolland.com to schedule something with me. Um, I do free consultations. And then, of course, you can always check out MomsThatBoss.com and get some information on the Moms That Boss community. Awesome. So audience, you definitely want to connect with her. Again, thank you so much, Lanisha uh, Holland, for being on with us, for helping us with this special series, because all women, we want all women to dominate the decade and give them the uh, inspiration, empowerment, education to be able to do just that, right? So yeah. Thank you so much for all of you all, audience, wherever you are tuning in. Uh, we hope that this has been helpful for you. Uh, that's why we're here, to help you dominate uh, the decade, uh, to be able to live the life that you want, right? Dream big and live bigger. That's why we are here. We'd love for you to be a guest on our show. We would le love to have you on. We are all about spotlighting women and elevating uh, brand visibility. Um, because that is so important for us to get noticed. It's great if we have gifts, but if no one knows about them, uh, it's really not benefiting us. So we want the world to know about you and your gifts. So please do visit us anywhere that we are online. You can find, find, follow the handle uh, at SheBossTalk. You can also visit us on our website at www.SheBossTalk.com. Again, that's www shebosstalk.com. Thank you so much for tuning into the series. We will follow up to answer any questions you have. Until then, continue to be great. Continue to strive for everything that you want in life. You are the boss, and we're going to help you amplify your impact. Have a great day. Bye.